Hey, what's going on everyone? This video I've been doing a review of the Linksys PLSK 400 power lining kit. Um, these are the units itself, as I did in my unboxing video. You can find a link to the unboxing video. In fact, you can find a link. Um, I'll provide a video in which I explain how power lining works. You can find a link to that video also in the video description. Just simply expand the video description and there you'll find um, the links to those videos in which I explain how power lining works. So basically this box, uh, out of the box rather, it comes with these two kits. One comes with a single internet port, the other one comes with four. And uh, basically on, well yeah, let's start with the body I guess, we'll start with the body and design and then I'll get into some uh, very quick uh, speed tests for you guys and demonstration of speed. Basically here at the top, uh, you notice that the LED notifications are similar. So here at the top, this little house kind of icon is basically power lining. Basically telling you that uh, there's a power line signal. The second one is actually uh, represents internet that whatever device is plugged into say this port that device has been turned on and it's recognized by the kit and of course lastly is obviously power. Now as mentioned um, as you see on my left hand it has a single internet port the one on the right comes with four. I personally what I recommend you do is if this is the kit you're going to buy what I recommend you do is you plug this one into your router and then this one goes into the other spot. So if, you see, if you're going to plug this one into your TV, uh, say you have a smart TV, a media player, and a video game console, this would be great because you have four. Whereas your router should have internet ports anyway, so just use a single one there with your router. Okay. Again, to understand the concept behind the router and everything, uh, you'll, you'll have to know how power lining works, and I'll put a link to that explanation in the video description below. Okay, both of these uh, also have right here, my camera will focus, a basically it's called a home plug simple connect button according to Linksys. It's basically, uh, if you press it, it kind of secures the password with your current uh, power lining uh, home setup. Because currently, this is actually my second set of power lining kits. I actually have, my primary one is my Linksys, uh, sorry, my Western Digital power lining kit, which I bought a few years ago. This is the newest, newer kit I bought recently. Um, they all work together. Uh, the important thing to know about this power lining kit is that it, it will work with different brands of power lining kits because if I can find it for you guys, right here, it is home plug certified. So basically the reason this is, this is designed by Cisco and uh, Linksys. The reason I am able to use it with my Western Digital Livewire kit is because that is also home plug certified. Here is the uh, secure button on the bottom, whereas on the bigger one it's on the right side. And obviously both of them have the reset button on the uh, right side. Basically it, can, it resets it back to its default settings and it kind of helps to clear everything in case you're having trouble connecting. Uh, obviously I'm not a fan of this design here. What I prefer they had done is that they have a cord that comes out, that comes out of the box. This one uh, you have to plug in directly into a wall. You can't really hide this because it's so huge. If it had a wire you could just like you know hide the wire behind your TV or something and then put this one behind the TV stand whereas this is just gonna be sticking out of the wall. It's kind of annoying. Okay so what I'm gonna do now for you guys is a very very simple uh, speed test. Um, so let's do that right now. Alright so what I'm basically doing is just gonna give you a very very quick example of streaming HD content. Uh, this is Hulu Plus. Um, I'm having HD video playing as you see at the bottom there is HD. Look how quickly I'm able to fast forward. It has absolutely no sluggishness at all. It's keeping up with no problem. Um, so this is actually connected through my power lining kit right now. Um, and I'm able to fast forward and play back easy with uh, no lag at all. So let me just show you guys how I've set it up here. Um, the camera's gonna make a bit of noise when I take off the tripod, so let me mute it for a sec. Okay, so it, as I said, this is uh, my TV. Actually, sorry, I forgot to mention, it's plugged into my uh, media player. So there's my power lining kit. As you guys can see, this is the four port one. Um, currently, what I have set up here is, as you can see, there's the blue internet wire, and it's hooked up to my media player, which is right over there. I do apologize for this terrible angles, but it's very difficult to get back there and to move everything. But uh, generally, this, this is how I have my um, living room set up. It's kind of to do the power lining kit, okay? So what I'm going to do now is another speed test for you guys. Okay, and the final part of the speed test to give you guys uh, an even better practical example, like real life uh, scenario. What I've done is I've logged into my Google Plus account, 
and I'm downloading it, my own video which I uploaded, it's about a gigabyte and I'm just downloading it at 657 or 58 uh, K and this number just keeps increasing slowly um, in our house we have DSL internet and if you're connected directly into the modem the fastest speed we can get in our house is 800 K um, I can confirm that on power lining I can actually reach 800 K um, this number just keeps increasing as you can notice I'm downloading it from the Google server so maybe it's not as fast as that other server I downloaded 800 uh, K I think it's maybe from Microsoft basically um, again just to prove to you guys the internet wire goes here up and back as you can see I'm kind of tugging on it and up to the power lining kit okay so as you can see since then the number has just increased to 672 and again I cap at 800 maybe Google will let me download at 800 but uh, that's a practical example now let's wrap up this review alright so it's time to break down this power lining kit both of them into its final score and to give it a rating I'll give it a 4.5 out of a 5 and here's why the pros of it is that they're pretty sleek and nice and attractive uh, now some of you might be thinking that's not really important but I'll, I'll explain that a little bit on why that is for this particular kit but to me it's like if it is visible by chance it, it might as well make it look nice and it does it looks pretty sleek general performance as you guys saw I was able to almost hit my max internet download speed at about 680k uh, whereas I can confirm day to day use I do indeed hit my maximum DSL internet download speed of 800k of course if you're running cable internet you should be able to hit higher speeds this of course is home plug certified which means you should should be able to use it with uh, other power lining brands I don't want to say it's 100% guaranteed just in case it doesn't work but if you have uh, you know one home plug certified alliance uh, power lining kit and you connect it with this one it should work uh, I do with my Western Digital kit they both work greatly together I notice no lag at all they work fantastic together you're getting a great bang for buck um, as mentioned this is the single port one and you get the other one as four ports but I've noticed that considering this brand name um, it's the best bang for buck I could find. I got it for $70 I believe, that's on sale. Uh, your prices might differ depending on where you live. There's not much more to go to in terms of pros. It's just to get your internet speed wired to another part of your home. So that's pretty much it. Now there was a tiny tiny con which I do have to mention and it's the reason I didn't get a perfect score and that's because well I'm not a fan of the physical design of this where it gets plugged into a power outlet. Uh, once you plug it in that's it you got this huge honking thing sticking at your wall I'm not really a fan of that um, now some of you might be wondering well can't you just plug it into an extension cord now what many manufacturers of power lining kits recommend you do is do not plug it into a power bar I know power bars some structures are designed differently than a, your average uh, extension cord but rather not take that chance with my internet speed um, but the point is they could have included something in the box that maybe extended it to a little length of a wire instead this is a bit difficult to hide not a big deal but it's the reason I didn't get a perfect score definitely worth checking out uh, especially it's bang for buck price I thought it to be fantastic so if you found this video as well check out my website and um, Facebook link Google Plus Twitter links in the video description hit the like button it does help subscribe and thanks for watching